Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Monday, September 9th, 2019. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. How are you? Um, today on the blog, and I will leave a link down below as I am apt to do, uh, today on the blog we talked about growlers and howlers, howlers, smaller one, grunters, punters, whatever you want to call them, um, growlers, and, and, and how it seems like people are using them less and less. Um, so what I did is I took a picture of all mine. I have 24 growlers and uh, 21 liter or howler bottles, including four from Collective Arts. I'm like, what? What? Why do you have four of these? Because you know what? Back in the early days when we first started drinking craft beer about four years ago, um, and we were new to visiting breweries, I thought this was the greatest invention of all time, especially when it was a growler. Two, liter, two liters of beer for me? Hell yeah. Now, as we've gone on, and to be honest with you, it's mostly because now you can pretty much get everything in cans or bottles. Um, very few breweries, you know, some one-offs and that, some small breweries like Barn Can, that they only offer most of their IPAs and, and growlers, so you've got to buy them. But for the most part, you're buying your beer in cans, which we all prefer, I think, at the end of the day. Growlers and howlers do have their spot. So after doing all of this, I was like, well, now I want to be, now I want to fill up my growler. So I hopped down to Collective Arts. I can be there and back in about 20 minutes, 15 minutes sometimes even. Always the longest time of talking to people. Um, and I brought two with me now. These two cans are older. Um, I keep them downstairs because they're one of my favorite artworks in uh, that Collective has used. Uh, Stranger Than Fiction, their American style porter, 5.5%. This is the hockey one. This is the creepy one that Mrs. Polk really doesn't like. Um, I love this beer. Uh, it's been a while since I've had it. This is one of the, the, the few year-round porters that you can actually get your hands on. So right here. Uh, this one here is IPA number 11 because... Well, IPA number 11 it was really, really good. And honestly, I just wanted to have something to drink while I watch Monday Night Football tonight. Um, so, and I got Stranger <laughs> because Mrs. Polk enjoys it. And she'll be able to have a, a pint when she gets home from work as she had to work today and I did not. Now, one of the things I like about this size is it's two pints. So it is not an excessive amount of beer. You can finish the howler with very little uh, trouble. Um, you'll notice it's a swing top bottle. Collective does not sell these anymore. Um, I don't even think they, they don't even sell one liters anymore. Uh, they still fill them, but um, yeah, like these are vintage. Are they vintage now? Can vintage be four years ago? Um, they can. So I forgot how good this beer is. Dark and roasty. It's a beautiful, beautiful porter, and there's not enough of them on the market if you ask me. That's my opinion. If you ask Mrs. Polk, she'll tell you, hell no. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, make some roasty dark chocolate uh, coffee, coffee, some nuttiness. All right, cheers, my friends. Let's uh, have a beer. Consistently underrated as one of the better porters out there. I'm concerned there's not enough of them, but when they do come out, it's consistently underrated. It's a very, very nice beer. Very rich, bittersweet dark chocolate, black coffee. Uh, nuttiness there's a touch of smoke in there too it, it's just a really nice porter there's a nice bitterness on the back end it's it's a beautiful beer and and one i'm happy because i was standing there looking at the tap list and you can't get the double ipa and then the the, the double dry hops around sign you can't get that in the, in the howler fells and i was like so i kind of wanted that but then as i looked at the thing i'm like what what do i want i want ipa number 11 because i just really enjoyed that but i only had two cans and i want to you know have a little more experience with it and I saw this, and I'm like, you know, we haven't had this for a long time, and I know Mrs. Polk will be really happy if I bring this home for her. So that's that's it too, right? Sharing. Like, it's not just like I bought two cans. How about this? I'm going to pour myself a glass, and then I'm going to put that in the fridge, and she can have one when she gets home. It'll make her very happy. Sharing is caring, my friends, right? <laughs> Spread the love. Great beer. Anyways, go check out the link if you want to see my opinion on what's going on in the world of growlers and howlers. See the picture of my 24 and 20. Seems like a lot. Other than that, I'm going to go put these back downstairs before they get ruined. They go back up on the Wall of Fame because they're absolutely gorgeous. And Mr. IPA number 11 and I are going to relax and do absolutely nothing until we have to make dinner. Cheers. Nothing strange about it. She's a beauty.